hi and welcome to the incredible life of cat today i am going to talk to you about some damaged goods before i talk about these damaged goods i want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and tell you i've noticed i'm getting returning views but no subscriptions so if you are a returning viewer go ahead and subscribe and like right now so i ordered over easter weekend because they had some awesome sales there was 40% off. I think there's some 550 body care. And um, there's another one too. I'm trying. Oh, the $3 wallflowers and soaps. So, or I think it was $2.95. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I did order from those sales. Some of it came in, and that was what I was going to use for my next unboxing. But I wanted to put this kind of in between. I don't always like go directly from the box, like surprise myself, you know, with the scents and stuff. And the reason why is because things can get damaged in transit. I know last year a lot of people were having the Halloween stuff being broken in transit. The little hand thing was like busted, the little hand candle holder thing and things like that. So I always, always, always kind of do a check just to make sure I don't have anything broken and I'm very glad I did. So I'm gonna start with the stuff that was broken I don't know why I wrenched it this way. I had to repot two candles. I did call customer service and free of charge, they're resending me one of the big items and the two candles that I had to repot. They didn't ask for them as a return or anything else. I don't think they probably want us shipping broken glass. This one was pink watermelon. This one was like almost the top of it. It was pretty cracked and shattered. As soon as I opened the little box that they come in, glass fell all over my lap and all over the carpet and I had to vacuum that but I was able to repot these and I didn't get a very good video of it but I do have a picture of the how the candle looks so I will be showing you that at some point so the wicks are kind of messed up on this one too I'm not sure how well it's gonna do I'm gonna if you know I do decide to warm or burn this one I'm gonna be really careful about it or I might just put it on my warmer. Since I have another one already and I have another one coming. And the other one was the iced lemon pound cake. And I was really sad because I really wanted to try this one. It smells really good and I don't have the notes on them right now because I didn't keep the packages. This one wasn't too bad. I noticed that it was really loose in the candle jar when I got it. And then I looked and there was a big old crack like right in here. And I don't have a picture of that one, but it was kind of fugly. So it was a little bit of a disaster, if I might say. Uh, the other one was much, much worse. And then I got one of the Flamingo candle pedestals. And the first thing I noticed when I opened the box, is it this one or is it the other one? Is that this is loose right here. Like, and it's all funky right there. I noticed that and on the bottom and the battery thing, it doesn't sit correctly because there is a piece that is broken in here. I was able to get batteries in there and it does still turn on and it's still gorgeous as expected. So they are sending me another one. Um, these are pretty pricey. This was originally 75 and I got it for 40% off. Otherwise I probably wouldn't have ordered it. And I also noticed that like on his head he had quite a few scratches and like a little scratchy scuff mark that is not going to come off and from my experience working with cars and car hauling I know that you cannot polish plastic it doesn't work that way so those are going to be permanent so they're sending me another one of those I did at the time order two and the other one came and it is perfectly fine there's a couple of minor scratches but no big scuffs like the other one and I had no problems with the bottom find the knob and it works just fine and these are absolutely gorgeous at night and they do make a little tiny bit of noise but not like the big globes do like the big Halloween globe I have one of those and it's very very loud um this one the bottom closes is fine there's no issues with it um, I did name them when I first just ordered the two I was naming them Floyd and Fern but Sita is getting one and I thought about for a minute, because I had three, why not Flora, Fauna, and Fester from the Adams Family? But she nay that, so I'm probably just gonna go with 
I'm probably gonna go with Floyd and Fern. So I didn't want my flamingo to be lonely, so I got another one. The things that came with no issues, I did get the flamingo, um, the little flamingo handbag holder, and that is to match my flamingos. And there are a couple other flamingo things that I'm probably gonna order. And let's see. Next I got Island Papaya. And this whole time they were having a buy two get two on the candles as well as the rest of the sales. So I did get some candles. There's tropical coconut, fresh papaya, and sugar cane. And I really, I really, really like this one. I'm gonna be trying it pretty soon. And the next one is Juicy Market Plum, Tart Mixed Berries, and Natural Vanilla Bean. I smell a light bit of vanilla. Very, very, you know, heavy on the spring plum and the blackberries, so I do like that. One of the things I noticed, and don't mistake these for cracks, there are some places where um, they do glue the bottom of the wicks on the candles, and sometimes I'll find like a, where it looks like a scratch, but you really need to run your nail over it because it's not a scratch and it comes right off and it's some of that glue. And just to give you a heads up, but I always make sure I thoroughly check my candles. Like, look, there's glue on the back of this one right now. Um, I always thoroughly check my candles to make sure that they're not broken. But I wanted to show you that I think everybody at some point has gotten a damaged package. There was nothing wrong with the outside of the boxes. Um, I did notice that the delivery guy put a heavy box on top of a lighter box. So that was kind of weird, but the heavier box was full of the candles and stuff. So that's the stuff that was broken. Uh, it didn't look like it was dented or had any problems, so I'm not sure. Somewhere along the line, there's something happening between here and I think it shipped from Arizona. I think that is everything for today. And tomorrow, hopefully, I should be posting about fragrances I wore this week. I will be posting about fragrances I wore this week tomorrow. So I will be having an unboxing later next week. Talk to you later. Bye.